Okay, so you can see that the Arduino circuit for the toll booth is running. We've got all our standard stuff. We're also, we have for this one, we have a closed switch to close the gate. We have an open switch to open the gate. We only need the two switches because the uh, this particular circuit uses a servo motor and servo motors only move uh, zero to 270 degrees. We're running five volts. And this is the code that we've used. So explaining the code very quickly. Uh, we're using that we got some uh, code from a the library there in Tinkercad. Um, we're setting up our variables, the closed switch, an open switch. Those are both set to low or zero. Then we're assigning our pins. So our, we'll assign our pin. Pin one here is from the closed switch. Pin two uh, is from the open switch. They're both inputs. The, we'll assign a server motor. So we've got the server motor and it's attached to pin nine. And um, we'll start, we've uh, set um, the servo to start at zero. And that zero will be in the closed position. The, so we've got our program, we've got our coding here. Um, the closed switch uh, is a digital read. So um, it's, and like we said, it's in pin one. The open switch is a digital read, it's in pin two. The um, closed switch, uh, if the switch, if the closed switch is high, then we've set, the, um, we've got a zero. So then uh, we do the open switch. We've got a delay in there of a thousand, okay? So wait for the motor to reach zero degrees. Then um, there's, gotta fix that. Uh, so open switch, we're setting that to high um, when pressed. And then um, that motor, that uh, we set the servo here to go to 260 degrees and then delay there. So that is our program. That's the explanation. Let's see it run. All right, so we got here. So we're already running the simulation. If I push to close, I can tell that it's already in the closed position. So now I'll push the open and you'll see it rotates 270 degrees. So now the gate is open, cars driving through. Then we come back, push the close switch, and we closed it. If we were running a motor controller, uh, if we were, I'm sorry, if we were running a regular motor, um, we would have, uh, we would need uh, four switches. One for when it was in the down position, one for when it was in the up position, and uh, also for what was going on during that time. That's how we would have to simulate the toll booth. We could also have the LEDs added, a red one for stop when it's in the closed position, a green one for go when it's in the open position. So that's the circuit. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.